Welcome to Famous Fortunes. This is part two for today, I guess. Part two. Uh, I had to do a whole episode on the comments and answering the questions from yesterday's episode. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Hope you did as well. So there is two videos today. This is the second one. Uh, we're getting into the topic, which is Lady C has said she has informed us that there is going to be a real bomb dropped in the spring. So that would be in the next few months, let's say. So we're talking, what are we talking? Like April? We're we talking April, March, April, May. We're talking about a real bomb. And Lady C has warned worse things are to come following their uh, humiliation and not being invited to the Golden Globes, the Golden Globe Awards. And she's put out a cryptic uh, warning, I guess, let's say, that uh, she can guarantee, guarantee that they're going to get a lot worse for them and wait until spring, they're going to have a real bomb coming their way. I think they're going to be completely exposed before this summer. Let me put it that way. Right. Now she continues to say, I think they're going to be in such deep trouble. It's going to be nothing that we can imagine. I think the chickens are coming home to roost in a very big way. What, a, what an interesting statement. The chickens are coming home to roost. Where, Lady C? In the, chick, in the, in the chicken coop? The Archwell chicken coop? I wonder. But it, the inquiring minds want to know. Where are those chickens going to come home to roost? Is that a hint? I don't, I don't know, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. That's what I will say. Today, we're going to find out. Now, I was actually, funnily enough, I saw this. I saw this in the news, this, uh, this article. And it came out in the news today. Uh, at least the news I saw. I actually, and funnily, I was watching Lady C earlier today. I don't, I don't often watch a lot of Lady C, but uh, I was watching Lady C this morning. What can I say? A bit of uh, Sunday morning Lady C to get the, get the day started. Why not? So I want to know, what's this real, what is, what is this all about? The springtime Sussex bomb. I can't wait. Let's dive in. What is the go? What is this big bomb that's going to hit uh, the Sussexes in the springtime? Let's find out. Sounds like fire and brimstone. It sounds pretty good, Lady C, I have to say. It sounds entertaining. It is. It sounds good. I'm excited. I wonder if other people are excited as well. What is this big bombshell that's going to hit? Guarantees. A strong word. I like it. Let's go. Cards are hot. The Seven of Cups... The Five of Wands, the King of Wands, Eight of Wands, Three of Coins, Fire, Ten of uh, Ten of Wands. Okay, what is it? King of Wands. Okay, so is it to do? Now I'm gonna need the audience here because these are this is not that straightforward. We we'll have to throw some more cards, obviously, but it's about conflict. It's about some trouble they're in, a fight they're in. Is it with William? Is it something to do with William, or is William gonna do something? Is William going to do something? Because is William involved? Because why do I say this? Because the King of Wands is actually William's archetype on this show, at least. He comes up as the King of Wands. I'd be surprised, to be honest with you, if, if William doesn't come up as the King of Wands for others. Um, and Catherine, the Queen of Wands. But it doesn't necessarily have to be William, although it's likely. It's likely. It's likely it's William. Uh, conflict. There's not a lot here. What is this? Um, is there? I mean, the first question I have is: Is there actually a big bomb that's going to drop on them? Let's find out. Let's let's actually have a quick look. Is there a bomb that is going to drop on the Sussexes? Let's let's have a look at that, and then I'll get back to these cards. I should have probably started there. Right, cards are hot. Temperance. The Fool. Seven of Swords. Five of Swords. The World. Underlying Energy. The Four of Swords. Oh, we're getting messy today, aren't we? What are these cards? Is there a bomb that's waiting to drop? Hmm. Hmm. 
is someone being pa someone's patiently waiting here. There's going to be some new information coming. New information coming. It's going to be. I mean, I don't know if I'd call it a. Okay, it it could very well be a bomb. I hope it would. We would want to see. I'd hope to see cards like the uh, the tower card and stuff like that. Uh, cards like that, rather stuff like that. cards of that of that nature. But in any event, it, okay, in something new information. Someone's waiting to release it. Fair enough. What's this? Uh, the Seven of Swords, so someone's, have they, t okay, so someone's taken this information, so, is someone leaking this information, someone's, um, what's the word, whistleblowing, is it like a whistleblowing job with the Seven of Swords, they've snuck out of the Camp Sussex with the information, something along those lines, potentially, okay, so they're going to take it to the world, and what's this Five of Swords, it's, it's, going to look pretty bad for them in some ways. It's going to cause some real loss here. We'll ask what impact it has. But okay, I think I can buy that there's some new information coming. Um, I think I can buy that. Now, what is it? What is it though? What is it? It seems to be... We've kind of done it backwards. Uh, the next card actually was the Justice card after this... Um, after this one, before I... I should have thrown it down, but it was the Three of Coins and Injustice. I had a quick look. So, I mean, this looks like some type of agreement or something along those lines. Um, there's not quite... A, there's, not, there's not enough info for me to hear to, to say, oh, I know exactly what it is. So let's let's just change it up a little bit. I'm just going to be guessing. I don't want to... I just want to... I don't want to blow hot steam up your... up your wherever, but... Um, hot smoke, right? Uh, is that what they say? In any event, um, let's ask this differently. So what, let's, how can we ask this differently? What would this, what's this bombshell going to look like in, when it hits in spring, let's say, what's, what's this, what's this all going to be about? What's it all going to be about? I and mean, I want to, I want more clarity from the tarot so I can understand it. Let's go. What's it all going to be about? Cards are hot. Right. Uh, Eight of Swords. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Six of Cups. Prince of War Cups. King of Swords. Four of Coins. Two of Swords. Ah, Exposure, the Sun. The Chariot, Underlying Energy. Eight of Wands. Okay, so... That is interesting. So it's about travel? Because this card's come up again now. This Eight of Wands. It's come up again. It's come up again. Hmm. What on earth is this bombshell? Wow, I have to say, for something that's seemingly so big, I'm having a hard time with these cards. I'm having a hard time getting a foothold into these. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. It's a relationship, is it? It's some type of relationship that they had with some people. Um, they're, ha they're having a relationship that's... Um, what's this here with the Eight of Swords? It's a... Uh, is it a friendship? Who were they friends with? That's a problem. Could it be? But what's it got to do with William, though? I'm trying to think William and this. Is William behind this, exposing it? Is that maybe what this is? Oh, the okay, now it's the first spread starting to make sense a little bit. Maybe William's exposing this. You know, and funny enough, actually, now I look at these. These dragon claws look very similar to guinea pig feet. <laughs> Their little feet are so cute. We get the pigs. Yeah, I have to get one out. Pig eyes. Pigs. I'll get one in a sec. I should get one now. I'm going to get one. Right, so we're having a pig break. I've just got a pig. Here's Panda. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to show you the little feetsies. Let me show you the little feetsies. Hang on. Let me show you the little feetsies. Just the pig into you, just because I feel like it. Uh, here's Panda. Look at the little feetsie. <laughs> That's the cutest little feetsie you've ever seen. I know, Panda. Look at the cute little feetsie. Yeah, she's a cutie. Are you a cutie, Panda? Yeah, she's a cutie. She's like, what am I doing, Dad? What's going on, Dad? I don't know. 
All right, all right. That was a bit of a pig surprise. I know that was quick. I know that was probably like a few minutes gone by in my time, but it was just a few seconds for you. All right, the, the cutest little fit you've ever seen. <laughs> what can I say? Got a few kisses in. It was good. Okay, where are we with these cards? What's this big bombshell? Okay, so I'm not getting anything from these from these cards. So what's uh who out of Harry and Meghan? Who is the bombshell about of those two? Let's find out. Let's just start another way. I'm going to have to just work into this because I'm not getting any inspiration from these cards. I'll tell you what. Cards are hot. Oh, the star. Which one is it? There you go. Uh, Prum. High Priestess. Ace of Coins. The Hierophant. Ace of Wands. The Three of Cups. So what's this about the royal family? It's a secret. Three of coins is coming up again. So it's they've they've it, it's about some third party that they have contacted. This is the second time we've seen this. The royal family here are going to release it. The royal family are going to speak about it, are they? This is a secret. It's a secret. Uh, it's to do with uh, the star. The star is interesting. It's to do with. I mean, what's what could the star mean here? I mean, it could mean it could mean a birth or some type of thing like that. It could it could mean that uh, some type of new beginning, yeah, possibly um, some type of payment being made as well. Like that could be it as well. So, okay, the royal family are going to release this. So, is William behind it? I think that's probably fair to say at this point. William wants to push this. Fair enough. Uh, which one is it about with Harry Meghan? So it's probably about both of them. That's what I would say. But more so, it's to do with the royals in some way. Now, are they, are they releasing it or have they offered the money or something on those lines? Oh. Did they, are they going to say that... I mean, what could it be? Could it be that... You know what I feel like? I feel like a... I feel like a... Um, I feel like I need a, a pointing device. I'm trying to look for something here. Um, uh, in any event, okay. So, actually, this pen, it's homemade ink in that pen. Let that be known. But in any event, um, are they going to spill the beans about some deal that they've made or some something that they've offered, someone's offered them or they've offered? A deal. It's about a deal. That's that's what it's about. It's about a secret deal. Oh, look, it's come up again. The Justice card. Oh, and also the Lovers. Let's throw that down. Okay, so this is exactly how it came out before. We have the Three of Coins and the Justice card, which is strange because I actually um, shuffled the deck and then threw the cards on top. So this one got jumbled in. So these two actually have come back together again, even though that they were... Because, you know, if you put cards back in and you shuffle, sometimes one or two will be the same. Uh, this this is actually completely interesting. This has come up again. So it's some type of deal that they've made. It's like a legal agreement that someone's made or a contract that someone's made, like a real contract, right, um, for something. And this is Harry and Meghan have made this contract with a third party. So that's the nature of this, okay? Let that be known. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, that is quite something. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So, now, the, how are the royals involved? Because there's it's a secret. The royals uh, want to mm, make this known, I guess, uh, about something here. This Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so now we have this information. This is all interesting. Let's ask, what is next? What is the nature of um, that agreement that was made that's going to be like, what leaked? Let's find out. What was the nature of it? Cards are hot. Right. First card, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Oh, look at this. Underlying energy is the same again. The stars coming up again. For fame? For fame? Was it for the couple's fame? Interesting. Underlying energies. Okay, Eight of Cups. What else? Ten of Wands. What was the nature of this deal? Chariot. Two of Cups. 
and the Hermit. Secret. It was made in secret. Hmm. Made in secret here. Made in secret. The Lovers and the Star are... Talking about the fame and... I want to say, is it about the couple seeking f f fame somehow? Uh, a deal done in secret to, mm, to to get themselves ahead. And so they've walked... Okay, right. So they've walked away from something. Perhaps this is the royals. And they're now trying to move forward in some way. So the deal... So what, okay, could the, inf I'm just trying to follow the bouncing tarot ball here. Is there some information the royals have about them leaving the royal family uh, and they are doing a deal with someone uh, in some way, like a Netflix or whatever, Spotify or whatnot? Uh, what kind of information could that be? That's so devastating. What would it be? Like, what's the devast, let's ask, you know, let's follow on, but ask a sort of new question. Why is this so devastating? What is it about this information that's going to be so hard hitting? Yeah, this is a this is a bit of a mystery, I have to say. Cards are hot. Let's find out the mystery. Ten of Swords. Why is this in? Why is this so hard hitting? Okay, Ten of Swords. Okay, the Queen, the Empress, the Empress, Six of Wands. Okay, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups. There's that sort of card again. Nine of Cups. Why is it so hard hitting? Information. Um. Uh, Again, that's why I said before, it's about some relationship, is it? Could it be that? Um, wow, this is cryptic. We're definitely getting a good hit here, though, in some way. So, so there's an ending here, right? There's something that's come to an end by force, perhaps. Ended, something's been ended. Um, now, the queen, this could be the queen, this could be a woman. Uh, in some way, it could be someone's mother. It's about, it's about gaining success through a relationship in some way. Is it the death of the queen? Something to do with the death of the queen? Um, temperance. Remember we saw the temperance? Like waiting? Wait, did they, is it something about waiting for the death of the queen before they did something here to suit themselves? So the royal... But also there's a third party involved. So they made a deal. Is this about... Or could it be about a book or a movie or some, you know, malarkey? That they've done some deal with some third party, but they had to wait till the Queen passed. William wants this information to come out. Uh, you know, I remember the King of Wands earlier. And now, what's this? Um, like a memory almost. What's the next card? Uh, temperance, waiting. This is the same. We just mentioned that before. Okay. Um... Waiting. Also, remember that card? That came out before. We're going back. The, okay, the reading's gone full circle now. The temperance is like waiting to release this or waiting for this to happen. But also the eight, uh, Seven of Cups is really, you know, a bit of, you know, whatever whatever's happened as part of this deal or whatever. It, seem, it could be, you know, lies and, or gaslighting. It could be gaslighting, but they're not basically another thing. It could be gaslighting. All right. Very, I'm a bit confused, but I think we got there to a certain extent. Um... I don't know, I need more information, I guess. Does anyone know any more about this? Because it's, I mean, I'm so taken by what Lady C said here. Um, let that be known. So in any event, I've enjoyed today's couple of episodes. I hope you have as well. I'll see you in the comments.